Hey Capricorn, welcome back to the channel guys. So let's go ahead and see what is this week going to bring in for you guys. What is the overall energy for my Capricorn universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides and Guardians? What's coming towards Capricorn this week? What is the overall energy? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides and Guardians, Capricorn. Please keep in mind that these readings are timeless, general love readings. So they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does and leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. So let's see. Universe, what is the overall energy here for Capricorn? What is coming towards them this week? What can they expect? Please help me give them clear and concise messages. So I got Envy. Cornucopia. Ying and yang. So let me tell you something, Capricorn. Let me tell you something. So first of all, I see some repeating numbers here. Okay, I got 11. I got 11 and I got 22. So Capricorn, there is there is something that's coming towards you this week. May have already entered your life this past weekend. But the truth of the matter is either you guys are about to meet the person that you are going to spend the rest of your life with. Or you've already met this person and this person has already extended the offer to spend the rest of their life with you. There is things in your life are just falling into place after a time of a lot of disruption, a lot of insecurities, a lot of instabilities. I feel that things are finally falling into place here with the crown chakra. And it's because you've decided to stop thinking negative. You decided to stay in this high vibrational energy. You've decided to stay positive. You know, for some of you guys, Capricorn, I'm not going to lie. You may even mention to your friends and family members, no, I'm just I'm just trying to stay in a positive energy. I'm trying to manifest things into my life. You know, I'm trying to balance out my chakras. People are like, what are you talking about? Well, things happen because they happen. Or some people try to be negative, but you stayed in this cornucopia energy. You stayed in this energy where, you know, you knew things were going to balance out for you. You knew things were going to work out in divine timing. Okay. And there you go. Door of personal healing and happiness. Okay. Because you stayed vibrant, because you stayed in this positive energy, because you stayed in this place where you knew things were going to change and things were going to come towards you. Boom. Woman holding a coin. There goes your offer. One thing I do have to warn you about my love. Okay. Is you may have envious people around you and it may be one particular person the person that acts like your best friend the person that acts like they have your back this person is seeing you be this beautiful abundant successful individual alone or in a partnership it doesn't matter but they, they have envy towards you it's a person that stands right before you and they're like oh my god girl i just love that color on you and in the back of their mind they're like bitch that you look fat okay so be careful who, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Like I said, for some of you guys, you're about to meet someone. You're going to meet someone. The angel of love is like Cupid is presenting itself weeks before Valentine's Day. You're going to be in a beautiful relationship come Valentine's Day. I just feel like, again, finances, career, family, love, it's all falling into place. It's all just falling into place for you. But you do have some people around you that are very envious, okay? Trust your gut, I heard. Second chakra, Archangel. I don't know why I heard, but I heard trust your gut, okay? Trust your gut. Because this person is in a place where I, I got to be very honest with you. And that's your solar solar energy. I feel like... Universe has tried to give you certain signs that this person is 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 backstabbing you or doing something to you. You're just being told to trust your gut. Trust your gut with the good things and trust your gut with the bad things. Just make sure that you're 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 aligning with the messages that are coming towards you. What I'm really hearing, okay? Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. What is this overall energy for Capricorn here, please? I got the strength. So Capricorn. You went from being this broken, and no offense, guys, no offense, I love you, but I do got to be honest with you, I will never be the reader to sugarcoat a damn thing for you, okay? But you went from a very broken, confused, imbalanced energy to this freaking strength, queen of pentacles energy, okay? This can also be you 
this earth sign energy here, Queen of Pentacles energy, getting ready to deal with a, a Leo or you just embodying the Leo energy, okay? But you do have a lot of fire in you. But the truth of the matter I am really getting here is that you, you, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot, okay? And people have burned you left and right, right and left. And universe has been keeping a tally of this. I do got to be honest with you. Because even though people have crossed you a certain way, Capricorn, can I tell you something? You've been like, you know what? God is good. Everything will work out in divine timing. Oh, I don't have the necessity to be mad at this person because you know what? Karma is a beat. So again, it's, it's you. Yes, you get a little bit angry. Don't get me wrong. But then you also tell yourself, you know what? When the time is right, God is going to bless me. And boom, you got the fool. There's a beautiful blessing coming your way. And it's going to be very, very unexpected. And it's going to bring in a lot of extraordinary options with the Seven of Cups energy. A lot of opportunities here. Okay? And I feel that the people that are around you, is partic particularly one, maybe even two, they're very envious of what of you to a certain extent. I feel like misery loves company. So th you're down and out. This person feels good. They feel, they feel perfect. Why? Because you talk to them on a daily, because you're around them, because you hang out with them. The second you meet this person or you meet anyone for that matter, this person makes your life a living hell. Oh, you don't even call me anymore. I don't want to talk to you anymore. We're not best friends. They start running the street with other people that actually intentionally hate you. And then they try to come back towards you when your situations fall apart. You know what? I feel that this time around when this new person comes into your life and you're about to get into this beautiful committed relationship, you will have to make choices and you're going to have to cut people out of your life that just don't serve a purpose. Some people aren't meant to go with you in this journey. Okay? There's going to be a very small handful of people other than your immediate family that are going to be meant to go with you on this journey of love. And some people are just not going to be able to experience this with you. Okay? You do have the Six of Wands energy here. You have victory and success coming towards you. Okay? You have new opportunities, new beginnings, new options here that are being presented to you. And with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a beautiful, 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 stable new beginning. And you deserve it. I just heard that you deserved it. After everything that you have gone through in the recent past, after all that beautiful optimistic energy that you still held on to and you continuously kept on telling yourself, it's going to work out. God is good. Everything's going to be fine. You're being blessed with those beautiful messages here. The lovers, I told you guys, you're going to be in a beautiful committed relationship with a soulmate. I told you by Valentine's Day or before then, you will be celebrating that beautiful day with somebody. Okay? And it's about freaking time okay but you are being asked you are really being asked to pay attention to your surroundings pay attention to those that act like they're your friends pay attention to those that act like they have a lot of love and respect for you because the truth of the matter i feel that these people they tend to put in a lot of negative energies towards you they also try to confuse you here so you are being told to block those choices okay for some of you guys i'm getting this very heavy energy your best friend Got you to start thinking that your ex was cheating on you, which caused you a big ass fight with your person. And you ended up walking away from that person because of your best friend, because of whomever is close to you. This time around, they're going to try to do the same thing. They're going to try to put in some uncertainties on you or instabilities on you. And you are being guided to not believe what's coming out of their mouth. Okay, you're about to get this nine of pentacles energy. I feel that you're already there. To be very honest, you're already there. Financially, you're stable. Mentally, you're stable. Emotionally, you're stable. Physically, you still be hitting the gym and it's not a New Year's resolution. It's a constant thing for you. So I feel like you're ready. You're ready to be scooped up. You're ready to be falling in love. You're ready. What do they call it? Cuffing season. You're ready to be with a person all year round cuffing season. I really don't even know how to use that term. I'm just saying it because it popped into my head. But what is coming towards you is very grounded, very stable, very beautiful new beginnings. Guys, I do got to be honest. For those of you that were hoping that someone from your past come back around, if they do present themselves into your life, I do got to be honest with you. This person is still going to be dealing with a little bit of uncertainties or a little bit of defects from the past. You are going to have to attempt to work through it. But for the majority of you guys, I do get a page of cups energy here. So this is somebody new. Okay. This is a new energy for you. Okay. Um, I just heard, forget the past, forget it, let it go. The past person didn't deserve you once before, they don't deserve you now. 
because who's coming towards you this individual is not going to make you fight for their attention they're not going to make you feel like an option they're not going to be toxic with you this person's going to come in with this big ass overgrown cup of love flowing with love constantly wanting to spoil you give you attention give you affection okay this person will never make you feel like you're you're you have conflict with them They'll never make you feel like you you have to compete for their attention. On the contrary, this person will make you the center of their attention. And with the Six of Swords energy, there's an opportunity for you and for this person to move. To possibly even move to another state. To move towards another situation. But this is definitely move on to new beginnings with this individual. This is, this is the love of a lifetime, I heard. This is the opportunity for a new beginning. This is luck on your side. After everything that you have been through. After all the shit show and shenanigans that have been presented into your life in the recent past, you are about to have another uh, uh, another new beginning, but this is going to be another new beginning with the right person of the right time and the right place. Now, for those of you guys that are resonating with that toxic best friend or toxic friendships, you really need to sit down and reevaluate that because you do got some people around you. And if you really go back and you think about how you ended up breaking up with certain people or breaking ties with certain people, it was because that particular person was telling you, putting shit in your ear, telling you about the connection. So look at Nine of Swords energy and Five of Wands energy. You are being told to cut that individual off. Okay. So if you do have a friend in your surroundings, I know getting rid of family isn't, isn't, isn't that easy. I mean, I've cut them out before, don't get me wrong, but it does hurt. Um, but if this is someone who, who is a friend and you consider him or her part of your family, as hard as it's going to be, you're going to have to do it because the, the truth of the matter is that you got to close out this, this energy with this person. You have to end this vicious cycle with this person because it is a constant bringing you down, a constant screwing with you, a constant fucking with your energy. Okay, you meet someone, you, you, you start falling for this person, you're looking at a long term situation, and here comes this person telling you, Oh, you know what I heard? I heard your person's fucking around. I heard your person's with somebody else. I heard they're married. I heard they had kids. I heard this. I heard that. And then what happens? You end up exiting out that person. You end up stop, you stop working on that relationship all because your best friend came and told you, Hey, um, this person is, is, is choosing you as an option. They're not committed to you. Ten of Wands, they end up bringing in. A lot of burdens for you. You, This person that I'm talking about, this may even be someone from your past. You may have a best friend from childhood, okay? The truth of the matter is that you could have very well grown up in a home where there was two parents, where there was a lot of balance. Never perfect, because not one of us had a perfect life. I know I didn't. And I did grow up in a home of two parents, but my father was my stepfather, or is my stepfather, which I love with all my heart, my daddy. And then my mommy was crazy, or is crazy, but I love her too. Um, none of us had a perfect childhood, but the truth of the matter is that I feel that the person that is around you or causes you unnecessary conflict had it very rough. So every time they see somebody happy around them or they see somebody doing something abundant, um, they end up screwing that up for them. Okay. Because they, they have a lot of leeway. They have a lot of weight on what they say for you. You are being told to let this imbalanced person go. Okay. It is time for you to cut out a friendship, a relationship that truth be told, just doesn't serve a purpose for you moving forward because what's coming towards you is divinely guided for you, okay? What's coming towards you is true love. What's coming towards you is new beginnings. And the truth of the matter, not everyone in your life is meant to take this journey with you, okay? Not everyone in your life is meant to be part of your beautiful new beginning, okay? All right, guys, I hope and pray this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.